here we are in the wilds of Rawai. Why? Because my producer said I was going to catch a train. So what do I do? I get it all dressed up in my trainee outfit. But I'm looking around thinking, I don't see any trains. Tara, catch. Seriously? Come. I'm going to take that before you break it. Let me show you some real trains. OK. Let's have a look. It's a really nice house, Robert. But um, how do you get a train on the second floor? Let me show you. OK. I believe him. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Robert, look at all of this. What? All right, I get it. I get it. I don't feel so silly now, dressing all up as I did. Robert, this really, really is incredible. How did you get this started? Well, it started when I was uh, extremely young, about five years of age. My, uh, my mother uh, decided to, and my father, decided to buy a small little railroad for myself. My father had been collecting since he was a young boy, but because of the value of this, he decided that better to start with something like a, a Woolworths brand or a Walmart brand train first. So literally, it started with this little guy here. Oh, can I? Yeah, oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And Aww. I played with that for a few years, and when uh, my parents saw that I was responsible Jeez. enough, they uh, upgraded me to this. Well, not quite this, but... Yeah, you know, <laughs> that's a big step. It was, <laughs> yeah. He kind of passed on his, his railroad to me. Wow, okay. So describe all of the elements to me if you can. Well, as much as you can because there's a lot here. Well, we've got two different systems running here right now. This is the, the, We can thank Bill Gates at Microsoft for thank part you, of it. Yeah, thank you, Bill. Thank mm -hmm. you, Bill. Uh, what happened was is originally railroading started like this with a big old transformer that was voltage control. So mm -hmm. the more voltage, the faster they went. Then Marklin designed a digital system. So then what they've done is every locomotive now has its own little digital chip in it. And as opposed to the old school, you're now, instead of sending out a voltage to every train, every train has full power and the digital chip will tell you how much voltage actually goes to the motor. Okay. So it gives you a lot of extra features that this was very restrictive in. And you get more buttons, so it looks cooler I get too. a lot more buttons to play with yeah. now with digital as opposed <laughs> to the old system here. Yeah, a lot more <laughs> buttons, including including a remote control. Yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come in here with the intent of only hanging out for maybe five or fifteen or a half an hour right. and time evaporates. This is your Game Boy. Exactly. Right. Two, three hours will go by in a heartbeat. Oh. Two, three hours will go by. No problem. And no you're problem always tinkering, you say. Endless tinkering. As Endless. you see, even while you're talking with me, I'm yeah. running around and cleaning this and pushing that. And a passion, it's, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's non-stop. If, if you took a look underneath, I'll show you all the wiring later, and you'll kind of go, oh my god, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, tinkering galore. <laughs> this was actually my father's first locomotive. Take it, Am I allowed it. to? Whoa, that's heavy. She's got some metal to it. It, uh, How old would this be? That thing is 65 years old. Oh yeah, definitely take it away from 65 me. 65 years old on that one there, yeah. Something that's really unique about this layout, and it happened completely by accident. When I was back in Canada, I joined a club, and one of the members, his health turned for the worse, and uh, long story short, he saw that I really enjoyed the hobby and that I wasn't going to you know, take a layout, buy it and then sell it on eBay, that I was actually going to use it and play it with it. So he approached me one day and uh, he said, Rob, I want you to buy my layout. And he uh, made me a price I couldn't say no. I mean, it was a massive discount. So keeping in mind, this is in Canada. So I get the layout home and uh, I start opening everything out. Of course, he was showing me various different bits and pieces. Well, this piece comes out of a box. And I go, I recognize this piece. I'm that going, does look familiar, doesn't it? It is. And as ironic as it would be if, if, if it was anything that was sort of meant me to come to Thailand and to bring my layout here, is that this fellow, born and raised in Germany, built his layout in Canada, pulls out of this box the bridge over River Quad. So I'm thinking, what a nice piece 
you know, here I am in Thailand now, and I have a piece of Thailand as part of my layout. That is beautiful. Wow. That's quite emotional, really, isn't it? Oh, no yeah. wonder. You know. Just like I say, nice connection. So it sort of says it was the karma. Karma, karma to be that I'm in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. What I'm hoping is is that my daughter actually takes to this hobby. Um, I'm really now your daughter's her. ten months Correct. old now. Is she being allowed past that door? Oh, uh, regularly. Has she been allowed to touch anything? Because I could imagine train to mouth would be pretty much what the situation is. That's a bit what of it is right now. It's more teething. It's material. It's, it's more sit on dad's lap and watch everything kind of go by. So she's enjoying it. She's enjoying it. Well, and daddy being the good daddy that I am, I'm following in the tradition of my grandmother. I've already bought her her own locomotive. Ah. She has her own locomotive. So when she's a little bit old enough, she's a little older. Yeah. And, you know, a little bit more responsible. Here you go. And yeah. that's the only one she's allowed to touch yeah. until she's how old? She <laughs> well, you know, we'll, we'll see. I mean, I, I took to it at about seven years of age, seven, eight right. years of age. So I'll say, well. If you do it at five, you're more than welcome, but I'm hoping that she takes to it. I really do, because wow. it's, like I said, it's the only hobby you can take from her youth, you know, mm. right to retirement. Love it. Well, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate this. If you get a chance, I mean, you can follow me. I've got my own little Facebook page, little group called Model Railroad Thailand. Model Railroad Thailand. Thailand, yeah. On Facebook. On Facebook. It's okay. my little personal group. It's, uh, it's a group of us, uh, just sort of Thai individuals. Believe it or not, model railroading is really taking off here in Asia. Okay. As, as people now have a little bit more expendable income, Brilliant. Um, they're getting into the hobby, which is kind of nice because back in North America, it's one of these hobbies that's sort of slow, I'm going to say dying out, but its popularity is dropping. Kids but nowadays want to play Nintendo right. and their iPads and whatnot. This is much more tactile and fun. Well, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a creation hobby. Yeah. You know, you're, you're putting it together, you think everything up, you're, you're troubleshooting all the time. Mm. It's not a, just turn the iPad on and away you go. Yes. It's, there's a little bit more to it. So. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, thank you. Thank you again. And there you go. Go to the Facebook page. And if you're lucky enough and meet Rob, maybe he'll show you his trains. <laughs> well, thanks, Sarah, for coming by. <laughs> okay, thank Cheers. you very much. Wow, what an amazing time we had today here with Rob. And thanks to Rob, I get to be the very first TV presenter to catch a train in Phuket.